The UK government's top priority, a UK Defence Department uh, spokesman told Spiegel, is to do everything in our power to meet our obligations to British citizens and those that helped us in Afghanistan and get them out of the country as soon as we can. Therefore, so Martin Tinworth, Squadron Commodore and Spokesman for the Royal Air Force in the MOD, the authorities told Spiegel, the Royal Air Force works tirelessly in the Middle East and Afghanistan to evacuate authorized persons and their families. All Royal Air Force air transport machines are used in Operation Pitting, A400M Atlas, C-130J Hercules and C-17 Globemaster from and to Kabul and A-330 Voyager to Great Britain. The British Air Force operates around eight daily flights to and from Kabul and two flights from the hubs in the Middle East to the United Kingdom. To this end, Royal Air Force personnel in the hundreds are on duty in the United Kingdom, Afghanistan and in the hubs. The Royal Air Force spokesman pointed out in this context that the locations of the hubs in the Middle East were not mentioned out of consideration for the sensitivities of the host states. Sensitivities, I guess it was the word. However, a few days ago the press reported that the British Air Force had flown 76 Australians from Kabul to the United Arab Emirates, among others. The British Ministry of Defence reports that between August 13 and uh, yesterday, um, 5,700 people from 38 countries, including more than 3,100 Afghans, had been flown out of Afghanistan as part of Operation Pitting. Brigadier General Daniel Blanchford of the Royal Marines commands the more than 1,000 British soldiers who work with allies to secure Kabul International Airport. We are redeeming our efforts, said General Blanchford, to speed up the process and to support the most vulnerable. That's why we flew 30,000 liters of water a day and food for 5,000 people to Kabul. We also bought 2,700 diapers, uh, 3,600 bottles of baby milk and 2,000 sanitary packs, which we are now distributing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.